morning guys, Sun Frequented World, up with the sun in Arizona. And the wind going quail hunting today. So we're going to do some hiking and exploring a few canyons and uh, get some quail along the way. This is Sly. She's a quail dog. Hey, you're a quail dog? I asked her once how old. So we're going to head up into a canyon here, uh, which is going to lead into a place called Soldier's Basin. And uh, there's some old stone buildings up there and lots of stuff to see on the way and hopefully some quail. So we just put a white tail up on the trail here and on the drive in this morning uh, I saw a bobcat out in the field. Didn't get a picture though, he was too quick. Light's just starting to come down into the canyon now. Yeah, it's cool here in the morning. The sun feels good, but we're out of the wind down in the canyon here, so no quail yet. Here's an old stone hunting cabin or old, old water tower for the windmill. There's yeah. a metal tank behind there that would have held the water and then that line ran down. I asked them the age, they said they don't know. I said, look, there's a marker stone, 1937. Whether that's the true age of this or not, I don't know. But. It's certainly believable, isn't it? Look at that. Pretty Bunks in here. Flattened all the rocks off on you. There is a stove in here. This stove yeah, there's a stove. It smells old. All stonework here. That would take a lot of manpower to build this. Hey, here we are 90 years later. It's still standing, so I guess it's worth it. I know I keep harping on about how beautiful it is here, but it is beautiful. Not a quail. <laughs> Maybe the dog's got a cold. <laughs> My grandfather used to say when he had to go to school, walk to school when he was a kid in the winter, it was uphill both ways. 
That's how I feel about Arizona. It's uphill both ways. So this is Soldier's Basin out in here. <laughs> I shot behind him. I was going to say, I think you missed that one. <laughs> well, I had to shoot right then. Well, we got a shot off anyway. <laughs> so we were 75 yards down there in the creek and Sly started acting like showing his birds and we trailed all the way up this valley. And as I just showed you guys in that last clip, the bird was only two, three feet in front of her. We couldn't see it with her eyes until it got flushed. They just stay right there until the last minute. Four more quail, I just missed it. We came over the hill, I wasn't quick enough. You got one? Yeah, that's it one. Right here. I had to duck, the first one went right over my head. <laughs> right here. A male? Yeah. We got our first quail of the day. First of many. Nice job on the side of the canyon here and there's an old bathtub out in the middle of nowhere. I don't know what that's about but <laughs> or how they hauled it in here but well, I'm not even shooting today but I'm having a blast. This is a lot of fun quail hunting out here in Arizona. Oh look right there guys. The second old stone building. So this is an old ranch house, Will says. Wonder if this is where the bathtub came from. Probably. Again, all stonework. With a massive chimney on the back of that one. This is a big building. There's another whole room behind where that chimney is. So there was a fireplace on each side. Quail right here at the old stone building. You got three more? Well, I might. <laughs> so there's the building I was checking out, and here's where you're shooting right here. Right here. It's your job. She wants lunch. She said, I'm done for the day. <laughs> She's going to make you climb the hill. <laughs> so this one's a female. Oh, yeah. I'm not very That's big. <laughs> Oh, okay. This is the one I thought. Two for three? Really beautiful plumage on these guys. Good eating, too. We're finding some now. Well, it's really only two coveys. She's pretty good about that. David just put one up here, and then Sly put one up there. There could be all kinds of them right here. I'm missing all the shooting. We just put up five more. <laughs> David's okay with that. <laughs> the, yeah, I did a lot of missing. The dog got a little far ahead of us there, so it was a longer shot there. The walk home is going to be great, David, because you're going to have 25 pounds less lead to carry. <laughs> Back at the building here, and this is the old well. There's water in there. Just want to take a look inside the building. We're going to have lunch here. So we probably got close to 20 feet of room here. Nice big rooms, central chimney. Again, probably turn of the century. 20s, 30s maybe, I don't know. 
A lot of work went into this place. That I do know. In the back room here. Wonder if there's any old coins hidden in that chimney. Three point two miles to the old stone building, and my guides are both having a nap here. I'm gonna have to kick them awake in a few minutes. mention their ages so I won't take two these young bucks that I've hired to take me on this hunting expedition are doing a fantastic job Well, I'm saving David from having to carry the gun anyway. Last mile, we haven't seen not a single quail. I'm trying though. She's pointing there. It's gotta be right there. She's pointing. Oh, what a good girl. Number four. Bring him here. Come on. The puppy. <laughs> Here, Rooney. Here, Rooney. Good girl. Good puppy. Oh, you're going to bring it to me? I'll take it. Thank you. Bring it to me. Good girl. Rooney, you had him. He ain't going to hide from us, are they? I got guides that can't decide which way to go. Off the hill, into the creek, back up the hill. I'm not paying them. I was just telling Will this trail is pretty tough, but imagine doing it with the bathtub on your back. <laughs> well, this is as good a spot as any to end the video. Uh, great view right here. Had a fantastic day hunting with the boys. Got uh, four quail, saw some beautiful country. Got about another mile to get out of here, so I'm going to hit the trail. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next adventure. Next trail don't look so bad now, does it? No, it looks pretty good after that hike. <laughs>